Good morning, boys and girls, teachers, parents, and welcome to a morning of honor, a lifetime of gratitude, our annual tribute to our local veterans here at Washington Street School. Although this year's ceremony may be different from ceremonies in the past, I strongly believe that this year's ceremony is more important than any other we've had at this school. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is an honor to have these special veterans here with us today virtually at our Washington Street School celebration to recognize Veterans Day. It is a very special day that honors the men and women who have served in the U.S. Air Force, Army, Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard, and those who are currently serving in the armed forces. It is important to our country that we remember these men and women, past and present, who have fought and those who currently serve to preserve our freedom and the freedoms of others. There are many ways to honor our country's veterans. One way to honor veterans is to fly the American flag. The flag is flown to show respect for American veterans and is a symbol of their service to this country. Today we are celebrating the holiday by honoring local veterans, reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and our national anthem and singing patriotic songs. Veterans Day, a national holiday, is set aside on the 11th day of the 11th month of the year. Veterans Day began as a celebration of peace after World War I ended and was originally called Armistice Day. The armistice, or truce, or ending to World War I, was signed on November 11th, 1918. The holiday was renamed Veterans Day in 1954 and became an official holiday honoring all U.S. veterans. The armed forces are doing their job. The Army, soldiers on the land, the Navy, Marines, and the Coast Guard, soldiers on ships or at ports, and the Air Force, soldiers in airplanes and helicopters, are serving around the world. Through their service, they have kept America strong and have protected our way of life. Today we honor and remember all of you and your selfless sacrifices you made to ensure the freedoms we enjoy today. On behalf of Washington Street School, we thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize and introduce all of our local veterans that we are honoring today. Walter Zarziski Jr. Dylan Talbot. Richard Resser. Peter Morawski. Ray Lachlan. John Discusi. Paul S. Castro. Gerard Ramsey. Anthony Lakata. William Turbert. Jesse Polizzi. Robert Strauman. Vincent R. DeMeo. Joseph Martinelli. Robert Dan. Donald Henley. Alexis Yanez. Thomas Ocho Grosso. Robert Schneck. Donald R. Aaron. Christopher Kirksey. Joseph Piscata. Robert Metzing. John McEnany. William Oath. Kevin Arias. George Smar. Gary Van Zanten. Matthew Zuccarella. Frank Spargelino. 
Jared Ramsey. Egon Hetzel. Evan Purposes. Joseph Wenling. Dominic Capio. Robert Struman. Nick Stavola. Patrick F. Maloney. Antonio Fortunato. Stephen Lynn. Michael Lynn. Gabriel Froche. John Solowski. Jesse Cedar. Giovanni Mulione. Frank Calabrese. James Doherty. And Mike Hanlon. Have a round of applause for all of our veterans. Students in kindergarten through second grade classes show their appreciation to our veterans by making creative artwork. My pleasure to introduce our vocal music teacher, Mrs. Tessar, who will lead us and our students in a musical tribute to our veterans. Hello and happy Veterans Day. In honor of our veterans, the five songs of the five branches of the armed forces. The U.S. Army Song. First to fight for the right and to build a nation.
those of us here at Washington Street School, we wish you a happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for your service. Have a great day. While Veterans Day is primarily a tribute to America's living veterans and is typically observed as a celebration rather than a somber remembrance, it is always appropriate to include a moment of respect for those who gave their lives for this country. This time, I would like us all to join us in a moment of silence for those that have sacrificed their lives for this country. Thank you. Recently, students in grades three, four, and five were asked to ex express their thoughts about veterans in poems or letters. We'd like to share some of those with you now. Dear veteran, thank you very much for serving in the United States Armed Forces. I appreciate what you have done for our country. You are super brave, smart, strong, and courageous. One day, I wish I could be just like you. I plan on flying in the United States Air Force when I'm older. Happy Veterans Day. From Braden D'Italia, Ms. Rudolph's fourth grade class. Dear veterans, we appreciate that you protect our freedom. I am very grateful for your service. Thank you for protecting our country and sacrificing your time with your family to protect us. You're a, you're a hero for defending our country. Sophia Savoy, Three Panza. Dear veteran, you are a hero, a very important hero. We serve our country from day to night. You are ve very brave. You make me proud to be an American. You keep us safe. I appreciate you for protecting our country. Thank you for everything you have done from Genevieve. Dear veteran, thank you for your bravery and courage. Thank you for risking your life just to have freedom. I appreciate you for your service. We love to celebrate this day to thank you for what you do. Happy Veterans Day. Sincerely, Jack Mahoney from Miss Dilty's class. Dear veteran, thank you for fighting for our country and sacrificing everything. You are very brave and courageous. You are fearless and kind. You are everybody's hero for everyone in the USA. That's a lot of people. A true soldier fights not because he hates what's in front of him, because he loves what's behind him. Thank you. Rocco Mari from Four Mihalatos. The veteran, if I asked someone what are the requirements for being a hero, they would probably say that you need to be amazingly strong or incredibly fast. Well, the truth is, being a hero doesn't just mean you can break through walls and shoot webs out of your hand. True heroes are people like you, putting your life on the line to protect this country. You have stuck with this country by braving through every single evil that dares to question our independence, saving lives every single day, and keeping the American flag honorable, and fighting for what our founding fathers have started. So a hero to me is someone who will fight through thick and thin, for a friend or foe, and someone just like you. Sincerely, Christian Marcy, fifth grade, Miss Cluen's class. Dear veterans, you are very important to me and our country because without you, we would not have freedom or justice. Even though it is Veterans Day on November 11th, it doesn't mean that people cannot celebrate you every day. People can have a flag to represent the veterans or they can write a letter like this. Thank you so much for fighting for the freedom of Americans. You are so brave. You are fearless. Thank you, veterans, from Joanna Feeney. Dear veteran, thank you for keeping our country safe. You are so selfless and courageous. I really appreciate your service, and I thank you for putting your life on the line for this country. The freedom I have today is made possible and protected by brave soldiers like yourself. Thank you for being so strong and sacrificing your life so we are safe. You are a hero. Thank you for, thank you so much for your service. Yours truly, Emma, sixth grade, Mrs. Sorge. Dear veteran, I want to thank you for your service and for everything you have done to protect this country. If it wasn't for you, then we would never have peace or freedom. Everyone appreciates what you have done. I feel like I am well protected because you veterans are brave enough to protect us. 
Whether you serve for the Army or maybe even the Air Force, you are still serving us greatly. You all work so hard and risk so much. For example, you're leaving your family and much more. It's just very heroic for all of you to be doing this. You are very brave and your service will always be remembered. Our veterans, thank you for your time, bravery, and sacrifice. Thanks to you, we have our freedom. You've also helped us during many tough times in America's history. Our country is now free and we all thank you for your sacrifice. We wish you the best on war, life, and everything that you will do for the rest of it. Sincerely, Ryan, 6 Tracy. Hey, veteran. I am writing this letter to tell you that I think of you as a true superhero, and I am grateful for everything that you have done for this country. You sacrificed your life for this country, so I just want to thank you for that. Sincerely, Vanessa uh, Mishirusa. Former President John F. Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Boys and girls, some of our bravest Americans are in this virtual meeting with us today. As you grow, your parents, teachers, and I know that you will always do your best to make all of us proud and continue the legacy of standing up for our Constitution and for this country. Thank you for joining us in today's very special celebration to our veterans, and thank you again to our veterans for joining us as well. You make us proud to be Americans.